recording. Our mission, Helping Parents Heal is a nonprofit organization dedicated to assisting parents whose children have passed. Through support and resources offered, we aspire to help individuals become shining light parents, meaning a shift from a state of emotional heaviness to one of hopefulness and greater peace of mind. Helping Parents Heal goes a step beyond other groups by allowing the open discussion of spiritual experiences and afterlife evidence in a non-dogmatic way. Helping Parents Heal affiliate groups welcome everyone regardless of religious or non-religious background and encourage open dialogue. Attendance at this meeting is voluntary. We hope that participants will learn from and share with each other. Discussions here are confidential and not designed to replace traditional therapy or spiritual counseling. Zoom meetings run by leadership are not confidential. These meetings typically feature guest presenters and are posted on YouTube so that affiliate members worldwide can watch and benefit. Neither type of Helping Parents Heal meeting is designed to replace traditional therapy or spiritual counseling. Helping Parents Heal offers a wide variety of speakers allowing parents to learn about many possible ways to heal. This includes presenters covering progressive topics such as afterlife evidence and connecting with our children who have passed. The views expressed by our guest speakers may or may not reflect the opinions of helping parents heal leaders and members, so we ask that you take from their presentations whatever may benefit you personally. Welcome everyone, we're so glad you're here with us today. And thank you, Daisy, we're so excited to have you here. Yes, we are so excited to have Daisy. And I just wanna say Daisy has been with us since um, the very beginning of Helping Parents Heal. And we feel very for, uh, fortunate to have her helping us with these meetings. And um, I, I don't know how many people on here were on Facebook earlier, and maybe you could raise your hand, but it was non-existent. And that was very exciting. And she was doing a thing um, on FaceTime. That was a very exciting thing. It's back now, which is wonderful. Um, but I was just going to let you know, of course, most of you already know that she's a shining light mom. Her second child, a son, passed uh, as a baby to a heart condition in 1980. At a very young age, Daisy knew she was different because of the messages she got from spirit. People didn't talk about this back in the 60s, and she always thought, um, thought she had invis invisible friends. Uh, many things have happened over the years, including that she predicted her mom's passing when she was only 10. But Daisy married young and had children to bring up, and she and her husband both worked in the nursing profession for many years. Uh, she put her spiritual journey uh, uh, to the side until the late 90s when she was drawn by spirit once again to show that she had a different path. Daisy has now been working with spirit for several years. Actually, this is old because it's been for many years and especially loves to work with parents like herself who have had children who have passed. All of the readings are about love, healing, and peace to give hope uh, to continue this human journey, although life at times can be so difficult. So without further ado, please join me in welcoming and me and Kathy and Irene in, in welcoming the beautiful Daisy Moore. Welcome, Daisy. Hello, everybody. Well, I'm gonna, can, can I start? Yes, you can start. Can I start straight away because I've got a young man here. There's, he wants, come on, get on with it, Daisy. Okay, so um, first of all, I've got to go with somebody, obviously, clearly, that's lost a son, sadly, a grown son. He makes him. He's of brown hair. I can see him. Um, and his hair's slightly grown out as I see him as well. He told me, extremely good looking. And uh, that's him. And he's grown his hair slightly more out than, than, than maybe he was when he passed. But that's how he has, how he looks to me. His mum, I believe, has got two dogs because he's referencing two dogs right now. And one is more of a, what I call a couch dog. You know, can get on the couch next to you, not over big. And it's, it's more than one color. So white and brown, white and black or white, and, however you want to take it. But there's, an, there's a smaller dog with her right now. Um, and mum is sat 
not in a kitchen area. She's actually in a, a living room right now. He's showing me his mum's in the living room area right now. And where she's sat on the couch, I think the door is to her left there. This is how I see it, how I'm sat. So I feel like her, her sitting room door is to the left there. Um, at the moment, he's showing me. And she's got a window in front of her. There's a window in front of her somewhere, just there. He's referencing and sitting next to her. So that, I think you've got two dogs, either that or he's brought another dog in from Spirit, which is why I'm seeing two dogs there. But mum is there at the moment. I think mum might have lost a pregnancy or as well, because he references a baby loss for her. Does that make sense to anybody? Uh, so if anyone, let's see. Pamela is saying my Eric had brown hair. Okay, what about the dogs and the um, pregnancy? Um, so Tanya is saying about the dogs, but do you have a son who has brown hair? I guess that's important too. Um, she said yes. So she yeah, said, okay. So maybe Tanya. I, I, you know, I feel I want to go with Tanya. And she, I think she was a pregnancy as well. And she's is she she's sat in the, in the living room area at the moment, you know, like a sitting room area, does she say? So uh, could you tell us if you're in the living room, Tanya, um, right now? Uh, let's see. And then we have some other people. Um, so Tanya is not answering. Uh, sitting sitting in den, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's what we you you call it. It's door like on the left. Mm -hmm. like, yeah. Okay. okay. So maybe we should unmute. Yes, yeah, I've asked yeah. her to unmute. Hi, Tanya. Hi. Hello, Tanya. Okay, that all makes sense to you. Although it you've got. Does. A, I mean, I'm not sure it's me, but. <laughs> yeah, you've got a spooky background there at the moment. I yes. Do. <laughs> Um, yeah, oh, sorry, can I see myself? What's happened here? I don't particularly like seeing myself. Oh, that's better. Now I can see Tanya. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so your son, but grown when he passed, you, you had lo lost a pregnancy as well? I did long ago. Yeah, recently. so it doesn't matter how long ago. It, it just goes mm -hmm. to show that, that he wants to reference in that. And that if you sat in your, you know, where you what you call a den, would, would your door be to sit so here yeah. and then your window in front of you? Well, the window's kind of here and the door is here. Okay, it all feels like where he sat, yes? And you've got a smaller dog and a big dog? Oh, I have two big dogs. Nope, I have oh, two big oh, dogs. Which one gets oh. on the couch? Which one gets on the couch that seems to think it's a little dog? That Actually, the biggest one, he's like 60-pound chocolate lab, and he always is snuggling. And oh, that's him. fine. Okay, because I uh, that's exactly what he's showing me, the dog that's on the couch. And I mm -hmm. thought, okay, a big dog can't get on the couch, but he clearly thinks he's a littler than what he is. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, do you know, it's just your son that wants to open up the reading and he wanted to put a shout out to you, yeah, and, and everything. He wants to do a silly dance to me. What he's showing me, you know, when I, I can't, I'm trying to think, you know, like, Oh, gosh, I've got to try and think of the film. My kids watched it. Um, there's a kid in this movie and he does a chuckle dance or the chuckle shuffle or something it's called. I can't remember the name of the film. But he wants to do something fun, but he wants to do it as, he, as if he was a child and doing it. So I don't know if he used to do something funny that made you laugh or he, he was impersonating uh, an actor in a film or something but that's what he felt he was doing um not that I know of I can't think of anything right now no right so he didn't impersonate anybody when he was a kid or do anything funny I don't remember sorry oh right so it might not be for you mm -hmm. he might not be for you because this kid feels he feels funny and that he was funny when he was a kid that would make you laugh. He is like he's very funny, but I like just don't think impersonating he stuff. But what he's done is exactly that in my mind right now. And how does the month of April connect with you? April. So a birthday passing or wedding anniversary? No. 
But I don't think it's me. I don't think yeah. it's for you. I, I think someone else is going to make sense of all of this. Okay. Have, yeah. Have, this happened the other week when this happened, and then then I came full circle and went back to the person at the very beginning. It was really crazy. Let's just see if anyone understands any of that. I think that uh, we have maybe Amber uh, Jagger. Uh, it has longer, shaggy hair, hilarious, um, dancing all the time, one dog here. April is her birthday, smaller dog, um, is in spirit. He was close to, is in spirit. So um, I'm not sure if that sounds like it resonates. Yeah, let's have a look. Let's go with that. Sorry, what was her name? Well, maybe we'll come back to you, Tanya. Um, well, yeah, who knows, Tanya? Yeah. Okay, so let's see. Can someone unmute Amber, either Kathy or Irene? Um, let's see. I think I'm unmuted. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to see. You're unmuted. There you are. Hi. Hi, Hi Daisy. Hi. So it's Amber, yes? Yes. You understand the whole couch window and stuff where you sit? The, yes. I'm and not there right now, but my living room, the door is to the left. The dog's always to my left. The window is to my left. Big TV in front of me, which okay. might be <laughs> dry. Your son, to me, shaggier type of hair now. Not, not, not. So if it was different when he passed, that's how he's showing me. He's funny, though. He's funny. He wants to talk about how cute he is and all that. Lot. Yes. And, and then he started doing, if only I could remember the name of that film. But I, all I remember is a pirate ship and they go in somewhere and and this this little kid and he does this chuckle dance or something. And I think you might understand it, but he's doing like a silly dance to me, but he's almost put himself back as a kid and done it as if to say he used to make you laugh and and and, and do stupid things. And when when also sometimes if you're telling him off, he'll do a face where it's almost like you want to hide your face and tell him off because you don't want him to know that you're laughing behind it or you do this when you're telling him off when he was younger. Do you understand mm -hmm. that? Yeah. 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 So he's coming in. Now, is he one of two children or two boys to you? No, he has. I mean, he's told me that he's there with a brother. So no, no, no. Living. He's, he, is he one of two children or the only child? two living sisters that are his father's children, not mine. Right, okay. So that could be why I'm getting the two, because he keeps talking about two, two. And I thought he was meaning that he's one of two children. He's meaning there's two living, so they would be like half sisters to him. Yes. Yeah. And and April, he said April, didn't they? My so that's your, oh, that's your birthday. And also August. How does August connect? That's when he passed. Oh, so it is definitely him. Yes. So that's all. He's just coming. He wanted to open up the reading. Yeah. But you see, I always like things that they've got to fit as I see it and what they're saying. Otherwise, it doesn't work for me. I know that he'd, he's going to keep persevering. Um, why is it? It's not raining where you are at the moment, is it? It is. Yes. Oh, it's giving me the sound of rain. It's raining here, you see. And I thought, I said to him, but it's raining here. And he said, yeah, but it's raining where my mum is. Right now it's raining because he's yeah. giving me water, water. Okay, that's his way of just letting you know that he's he's very much around you. Do you know what he's just put on his head? You know, you can get those canvas hats, not a cap, not a baseball cap, but you know the canvas ones that can just go on your head and it's got like the little brim to it? Mm -hmm. For some reason, you just put one of those on his head. So I don't know if there's a photograph of him wearing like a canvas hat. Yes, like yes there is. Yeah, and he's just changed from wearing no hat to putting that on. And again, I just feel he wants to make you laugh. He's he's just funny. Yeah. Always, always. Funniest person I ever met. Yeah. He said, are you cozy in what you're wearing, by the way, today? He said. Yes. Yeah. Are you cozy, mum? He's going like that. Yeah. Well, he would have laughed at this outfit for sure. <laughs> and that's why whatever you're wearing, obviously I can only see from here. So I don't know what you're wearing, but he wants to take the knee key basically out of whatever you're wearing. Yeah. It doesn't go right down to your ankles, does it? Yes. Because that's what he just said, like a onesie thing. No, it's got matching pants. <laughs> ah, because he just said it goes from here right down to her ankles. He's it doing does. and then he's just laughing. Talk about embarrass your mum on on a video. Yes. I would expect nothing less. <laughs> Do you know, could he be sort of irritating sometimes also and eat, say, a packet of potato chips quite loudly when you're trying to watch something? Um, 
not in that way. He was he was a world class arguer, though. I always told him he could be a lawyer. <laughs> okay, because I just feel here like you know, if there's something going on and he's not meant to be speaking or whatever, or not meant to be joining in, it's like he's just opened a bag of potato chips for me and chewing on it quite noisily. So it would be irritating for anyone to to say, although he's not talking or allowed to say anything. That's his way of letting everybody know I am here, though. That's what he's just doing, yeah? So I, I just find him quite cheeky and funny, yeah? You know, where do you walk in your house? You walk somewhere where the the floorboard you know when the floorboards or something make a little bit of a noise and if you've got anything on shelves it can cause like a little bit of vibration noise yes he loves doing that so do you ever hear things like that when you're by yourself I hear when... noises all the time and it That's only him. started after he transitioned yes. and I do have a picture of him that when I walk by my shelves goes like this he just told me that he does that even yeah. when you're not when you're sat down, that mm -hmm. sound of where someone's walked and you get that wobbly sound like, yeah, that's him. He's just letting you know, yeah. Mm -hmm. Is that on the way to the kitchen where you walk? Yes. Because he said, it's on the way to my favorite place. So I said, well, where's your favorite place? And he went, well, the kitchen, of course. He went like that, so yeah, okay. I'm going to leave your son with you. I think he just wanted to come in and let you know he's still around. And I'm so glad you pick up on all the signs and everything. Yeah. Thank you so much. I'm sorry. I'm still laughing at whatever you're wearing because he still wants to joke about it. But there you go. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. That was amazing. That was so funny with the outfit. <laughs> oh, I love it when they're funny. I love it when they're funny. Right. Let's see where I want to go next. I want to go with the female in spirit. I want to go with a female in spirit. I want to go with the month of September with this. And if it's not September, you know it's going to be the ninth of a month or, or number nine in some way with her. Um, now, I don't know if her mum is wearing her bracelet or she wears something in memory of her on her wrist. But it's it's not like this. It's not like rubber. This feels this feels prettier in some way that she references, or she, there, there's a reference to this bracelet. And I almost want to go where you get you get the chain and say a little flower, a chain, a little flower. It almost feels like it goes it goes like that. Um. I think she's got a brother living. See if anybody picks up on that. So September, this was in a sudden or unexpected passing. Also something to do with Sunday connects with this as well. So either she passed on a Sunday, born on a Sunday, Sunday was her funeral. Um, or if she passed on a Monday, Sunday was her last day here. If she passed on a Saturday, Sunday was the first day of the rest of your life without her physically in it. But all this should make sense, but she's definitely um, here talking to mum, wants to talk to mum. And again, December or number 12 means something. So the 12th of a month or the month of December, birthday, past anniversary. So Megan is saying, I have a gold bracelet. Me and her two best friends have the same for her. She has a younger brother. It happened suddenly, but not on Sunday. Nothing about Sunday. Linda is saying, my daughter passed in September. Um, let's see. Um, oh, goodness. Has a brother. I wear her jewelry. And then, um, let's see. We also have... So you oh. know the so the bracelet. I look. I can't draw for toffee. Just saying. Okay, a two year old can draw better than me. But this is what I'm seeing. This type of bracelet, where there's either like you know where it goes like a chain, or or, or there's there's um there's something to do with this. Or charms. 
Does that make sense with the lady who said that she wears a bracelet and someone else wears a bracelet in memory of her? Okay, so um, gold bracelet. So Megan is saying, Megan also said that her brother's birthday is in December, just to let you know. Um, right. Okay, hers is a, Megan's is a gold, is gold with a bar, not uh, with the flowers, but I don't know if that's what you... Yeah, it doesn't have to be flowers, but it's like that's how she's sort of putting it in my head as I would see it. So I don't know what these things that I've got. Oh, this just means something there. She's okay. trying to get through to um, me. So we have other people saying that they have bracelets, but what we need is someone who has a daughter who passed. Um, let's see. Uh, was sudden and unexpected they have some kind of significance with sunday and um it could be also obviously sunday was the last day they saw her you know or mm. there's something significant about the sunday before she passed <laughs> that would be why you know okay um interesting i don't I don't think this is for me, Daisy, but it's interesting because uh, Carly's dog was born on September 9th and she passed on a Sunday. And we both have evil eye bracelets that we always wore together. But I, oh, I really what, don't what think that this mean? is Carly. What does that mean when you well, say that? Carly comes through all the time with Daisy. I know. That's why we have to <laughs> let her go to somebody else. <laughs> you know, the the eye, the Greek eye. Oh, yes. So we both wore gold bracelets and it has, you know. So those... and is your son is your son younger than her? I I do I don't have a son. She has a oh, half brother. She, referenced a she brother. has a half she has a half brother. Is he younger? No, he's older than she is. He's older. So... Right, okay. Yeah, I don't know if she talked she nope. just talked about the brother as well. Let's see if I can get something else just direct from her that would really I don't know. Oh, Leslie said she, her daughter went, passed. I said enough, she said. Mum knows who I am. And she's doing that to me. Okay. okay. So it's either so, Carly or maybe Leslie. It's Jeff. Leslie. Okay. Yeah, because her flower bracelet and she has a brother. And also oh. her daughter passed on a Sunday, she says. So well, there we go. I tell you, I won't never change what I get. You know what I'm like? I've got to keep it away. I won't change it because I know it means something. There we go. So it's Leslie. Okay. Uh, Hi, Leslie. Hi. Let's see. Where are you? Oh, hello, gosh. Leslie. So you understand Hi. that silly little drawing I did? Yes. Yes. With whatever that yes. is around. Yes. And do you have Matthew yes. on, or you just have her bracelet that looks like I have that? her bracelet. I have Perfect. her bracelet. And the September. That's the only part that did not make sense to right, me. Right. So remember, it's September. not September. It's the number nine for me. That can be the ninth of the month, nineteen, uh, or nine o'clock nine so i will leave that with you because you've got exactly that type of bracelet which i she keeps going on about and she wouldn't give me any more i said do you need more she said no because my mum is listening she knows it's me so the bracelet is a big thing in in what that was yeah and december was it december as well no or number 12 her birthday's the 12th of the month. That's fine. So, like I always say if it's not the number, it's the, it's the month or not the month. It's a number. Yeah? Yeah? Yes. And she's got a brother that's younger than her or just a brother? She has uh, two brothers that are both older. Oh, they're older than her because she keeps talking about yeah. one brother. One of her brothers is a pain in the ass. <laughs> That's what yeah. she just said. I'm saying it as she said. So one of them has been a little bit, I don't know, something's been going on there, but there. And it feels like she wants to be sort of wind him up a little bit, if you know what I mean. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's, sorry, but has anyone just had teeth work done or going to the dentist? And her brother um, doesn't work. Is there nothing going on with his teeth or anything he's just had done? Or does no. he need to go to the dentist? He needs to go to the dentist, yes. Right, that's what she keeps saying, because she's she, this is the one that she wants to sort of wind up a little bit, if you know what I mean, and poke fun with and have some fun with him. And uh -huh. she said to him to go to the dentist, the dentist, yeah? So it looks like he needs to get something sorted there, yeah? Yeah. 
It's the worst birthday just coming up or, or, or has it just happened? Just happened, her dad's. Oh, it's her dad's birthday because she just gave me birthday cake with a candle so I always know that's a birthday. Just happened or just about to? Just happened. Is there any reason why she would show... So for some reason, they when they show me frogs, they always seem to show me Kermit the frog for some reason. <laughs> And, and for whatever reason, there's, and you've not had anything go on with frogs? No. Or toads or anything being around? Okay, I hope she mm -hmm. doesn't send you a frog or some slimy toad or something. <laughs> um, but there's, but again, she's showing me Kermit the frog, so I always take that as a meaning to a frog. Just in case you speak to her brothers and someone's had an encounter with a frog and they haven't shared it with you, you will understand it and you can tell okay. them she sent the frog, yeah? Okay, yes. She wants me to give you like a big bouquet of flowers, fresh flowers. And I said to her, what, what's the occasion? Because obviously it's not your birthday. And she said, because my mum just needs picking up at the moment. You need uplifting. Do you understand that? Because she said she's having a bad time. And she said, as though I've come in funny and everything, it's because I'm trying to cheer my mum up. But she said it's not working. So give her the flowers. So my invisible flowers, I'm going to give to you a big bouquet from your daughter. But she understands that you just need picking up at the moment. Yeah. Yeah. That it's all going a little bit too much for you, she's saying. And she said to tell you she does hear you, even though at times you think you're not getting anything back or you feel you're missing signs or anything. I, I hear you. I'm always listening. She said, always listening. You know, um, again, do you pass, do you have a photograph of her somewhere, just her on her own, where it's either chrome or or a light coloured frame around the yeah. edge? Yes. Because she just said, wherever that is, she's there right now. So can you see it from where you are? Yes. Yes. That she right stood there. She wants you to know I'm right here. I'm right here. Is there a couch or something there? Uh, I'm on the couch. Fresh? Oh, you're on the no, couch. You? I'm on the couch. Oh, you're on the couch because she said, "Now talk mm -hmm. about the couch." So she sat next to you on the couch. All right. Okay. But I just want to get that through to you. She said that you just need a picking up. That's why she wouldn't go any further because she wanted to actually talk to you and did all this like it's me. She knows it's me. You know, <laughs> you, it's like you should have spoken up as soon as you understood the bracelet. I think that's what she was saying. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I'm not going anywhere, she said. I'm very much around you today because you need to know that I'm around you. Okay, yeah, I did need to know that. There you go. And, and take your lovely flowers. In your mind, just imagine every flower that you can as a spring flower that she's just given in a big bouquet to you. Yeah. Oh, she just told me to tell you with a nice big red ribbon around it as well. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Just for extra prettiness. Yeah. Lots of love to you. Okay. I've Thank you very much. That Thank was you. beautiful. Thank you. Yes. And um, also, Megan was taking everything. In fact, she said Haley's stepdad just had his birthday, and we had a pet frog that hangs out in front and never came back after she transitioned, um, which is very well, to me. She said there's another piggybacker there coming yeah. in with the frog. I know. I was say. I said, you know, I, years ago when I first started doing this, and I used to hold back on certain things that they showed me because I used to think, well, that doesn't make sense. Why would I say that? I feel all right. You know, I feel all right, Lemon, saying that. And so I held back. And then I realized when I did say it, how much it meant to the person that I was saying it to, you know, the person yeah. that I was having a reading. And that's when I learned to say everything I see. Because if it doesn't make sense at the time, they sit down with a cup of coffee or a cup of tea afterwards and they think, oh, gosh, I know what she was talking about now, but you can't think in a reading always, can you? You know, it comes back to you afterwards. Right, I want to go with someone. Does anyone have twin boys that's either right now, you know, is there twin boys in a family? For some reason, I'm seeing identical boys in some way. This is pretty specific. Let's see. Yeah. Twin boys. Someone's showing me that. So if anyone has twin boys, let us know. Uh, 
so Linda's saying that her daughter raised twin boys. She was also piggybacking on the last reading. She, um, as well as Megan, both could take everything that you were saying. Oh, is that the one with the frog? Yeah, or not with the frog. Megan's the one with the frog, but Linda oh, was saying. Okay. Um, oh, and then <laughs> Megan says she can't take it, but uh, the her daughter has twin identical stepsisters, which is funny. She's really trying, she said. <laughs> Anyway, so twin boys, uh, Leslie. Again, someone might be being a jokester and turning it to two in boys. You know, do you, just you know, spirit they can be so funny sometimes. But let's just see if anybody gets that. And also, October means something. October or the tenth of the month. Um. Yes. So October. Let's see. Uh, Leslie is saying she has twin grandsons. Um. And Did anybody just walk through a cobweb or do they get a feeling like they've got a cobweb? You know that feel when you, you know on your face? Because whoever this is has done that, where either they've been with them when they've gone out, say, outside and they've walked right through a cobweb or they keep getting like there's a cobweb on their face, you know, wiping their face. Hmm. Let's see, Twin Boys, October the 10th, let's see. Okay. Um, yeah, Pam, actually Kathy's just writing the, the things that Daisy's saying, so that um, she was just thinking that Kathy has Twin Boys, but let's see. Okay, Gertie is saying, my boys look so much alike after he passed, she thought his brother was him cobwebs yesterday. Hmm. Oh, cobwebs. Um, okay, anything about she being his girlfriend? Okay, so this is, I guess, his girlfriend thought that her other son was his tw twin brother, um, or was him, not twin brother, but just was him. So I don't know. And, oh, so did she lose a son? Oh, and then October is... The brother's birthday, yes, she had a son pass. So uh, did he used to, did, he, did she used to hear him singing in his room rather badly? <laughs> so Gertie, could you tell us if you used to hear him singing in his room rather badly? <laughs> um, the brother, not him, yes. Wait, well, no, I think I'm gonna go with that because I feel that sure. his son is taking the mickey out of his brother, yeah who sings in his room yet, but for rather badly, he said. Okay. Um, I've asked her to unmute. Hi, Gertie. Hi. Wants, do you understand all that? Yes, his brother used to play a, um, his guitar in the room. I had to put soundproof up. Oh, that's terrible. Because he was... <laughs> The way he was singing, so out of tune in my head, like like some uh, like a man that's going through where his voice is changing. I thought, what are you trying to say to me? And I thought, I don't want to put my foot in it here in case his brother read sees all this. But there you go. He said he plays, yet yeah, sings, but rather badly. Yeah. Yeah. And um, does the month of October connect? Birthday past, not anniversary? That what October is his brother's birthday. Oh, is that the one that sings badly? Yes. Just for him to add his birth month for everybody. Do you know what I'm saying? Typical. <laughs> these kids. Okay. So he's, um, and was it you? Did you understand the cobweb in some way? Or do you feel sometimes like you're, you've got something on your face? I was just helping my friend clean out her parental, her, her dad passed. Right. And there's cobwebs all over the window. And yeah. Oh, so there's the cobwebs. Yeah. Again, I saw cobwebs. And again, it was that moment where I just said beforehand, I learned to say everything I see because it will make sense to the person. So you know which direction we're going at as well. Number 28, you wants me to give you the number 28. How do you connect with that number? He wouldn't be 28 now, or he passed at 28, no? And you you didn't have him at 28? 
No. There's some, I've got to give you that number. He's giving me. So that's either obviously going to be 28 years or the 28th of a month. Yeah. But he, he just threw that. And does the year 2011 mean anything to you? Again, he's giving me that year. How old would he have been then? The twin, uh, in 2011, he would have been 20. He would have been 20, right. He passed when he was 29. Oh, so, right. Did anything significant happen when he was 28, the year before he passed? Or had he, had he not done much of 29 years? He'd done more of 28 years, if you get what I mean. Yeah, he got done more of 28 years than 29 That's years. That's why he said to me, say 28 to her and then say 2011. Yeah. And now that makes sense. Yeah. He said, Mum, it's like a puzzle. I'm helping you with puzzles, you know, because it's good for the mind, Mum. <laughs> He's pushing his luck, really, isn't he? Yeah. So, um, that's you know, funny. Um, Uh, you know, um, he's showing me somewhere, like, you know, do you have like a separate laundry room? Yes. Yeah, utility room or whatever you want to call it. Yeah? Yes. You know, for a long time, did you keep something of his in there? That either his shoes or you had something of his that he had hanging up? No. Right, I want to be in that your utility room it, right now. Are there coats or anything? Are there shoes there? No. May have the wrong person. No, no, because everything else works. So I'm going to oh. say no. I, I am with you. But... See, my brother's stuff is in there. Oh, your brother's stuff is in there. Yeah. What, his clothing. No, his um, baby picture and his sign for he passed also. So my son's with him and I've got my brother's, the sign that he had on his dairy and then his picture above it. Is it what, around the laundry room? In the laundry room. I just got chilled. That's why I just, the chills, I always take that as truth. So there I'm thinking, what is this? Like a coat hanging up or shoes? Why is it so personal? Because he keeps giving me personal, but it isn't. It's your brother that looks like he's trying to come in with your son. And that's why I've got to go to the laundry room. Wow. Yeah, because yeah. I got chills from my upper body up through my arms. Yeah, there's a chills is truth. That's how I yeah. always take because I get that because right now my legs have gone cold. So that's the two of them coming in. Wow. Equally, equally, I think, as funny or they think they're as funny as one another. If you know oh, yeah, that. yeah, yeah. No yeah. doubt about that. Because one just said Tweedledee and Tweedledum are here. So to me, <laughs> There's fun here with these two, yeah? Yeah. They hung out a lot. And now, so for some reason, your brother's taken a cat on and off for you. Like, you know, like a cat, baseball mm -hmm. cat. There's got to be meaning to that. Oh, on and off, he's doing this cap. So, again, someone must have a cap of his, or there's a cap there that there's got to be some joke. Or in the photo, if he's wearing a cap. Yes, he has a cap in the photo. Yeah, that's why. He's, yeah, to me, oh, he he's telling me he likes me the best of all the sisters. Yeah. Oh yeah, <laughs> he said you're the least trouble. That's what he just said to me as soon as you said that. Yeah. Do you know? Did did he have um? Did anyone lose a dog that was like spotty dog? You know, not. Not necessarily a Dalmatian, but a dog that had specks on it. My son, after he passed and his girlfriend moved out, he has a black and white dog. That dog left the new house and came back to his house, ran away and went home. Oh, did it have specks on it? Like, you know, like. His black and white patchy, but in the black, there's little specks. Spe that's what I'm seeing. Like, Specs, he wants to talk about that dog for some reason, but you just then just confirm what he was trying to talk about the dog that had the specs on it. Yeah. 
your son said he's almost getting in trouble in spirit. <laughs> well, if he's he, hanging around my brother. Yeah, but he blames it on your brother for being. Right? That's what he just said. Yeah. He also just said, he laughed and he said, tell my mum what goes bump in the night, mum. So to me, that tells me things either get dropped, you wake up or you, did you hear that? You know, when you look, you can't find anything on the floor uh -huh. or anything, but that, that's him. Yeah. Well, he said, actually, it's him. But, it, and he said, no, it's actually him. And so these two are up to, you know, no good, basically. Yeah. You know, it's so funny. I just picked up this picture of my son. Oh, shoot. Can't see it. I don't know what's wrong with my camera. Oh, no. Anyways, he's drinking out of a um, fountain. Oh, yes. Now I see he's got his head back. Yes. Yeah. I just picked that up and I said, why don't you come through? There you go. <laughs> and, and he is. has with your brother. Yeah. And your brother just said the photo looked better just now when it was blurry before I could see what it looked like. That's what he just said. Yeah. These two. <laughs> so, you know that song, Anything You Can Do, I Can Do Better? Your brother's singing that. He would. Yeah. Yes. I uh, used to he say, <laughs> go ahead. Do you, I don't know if, what this means, but do you need to clean your windows or, or does your window need cleaning or your your car windows need cleaning or something? I just put window tint on my house. So I've been cleaning the windows and I right. actually tried to put a piece of it in the car. It doesn't work very well. Because they were with you and whatever they're doing, they're laughing. And I thought, why are you laughing? And it's almost like they've made like a little hole in the window and spying through it. Do you know what I mean? It's it, something like that they're doing. So you've just done all that. You've been put in this film and these two have been having a laugh because you're not getting the bubbles out or something to do with bubbles or something. Yeah, that too. But I put it, it's window in the house window kind. So I put some on the passenger door, just thinking maybe it would help. And when I rolled down the window, it all went bloop. I, I, oh my goodness, there you go. Yeah, I always say that, that they, they will bring up things in a reading that blow your mind, things that private conversations you've just had, something funny like that's just happened, but nobody would know. And you haven't put it on social media because we right. lost social media for an hour before this reading started, did we not? You know, and so, so to me, it's like that spirit wanting to prove a point how they are all knowing and all seeing. I always say that, you know, and they just blow your mind with stuff. But these two, they, they, they've just gone arm in arm. And, and I said, are you going now? And they said, yeah, we're off to cause trouble. And they're doing that like this arm in arm. Yeah. So I think just imagine these two. Yeah. Um, I bet my mom and dad are having fun with that. Does the name Charlie mean anything to you? Charlie, Charles, Charlotte, Charlene, Charlie. Someone shout the name Charlie. It could be someone else coming in because I'm hearing, and this is a male telling me to say this. Hmm. Oh, go on. I'm going to let you get on with that. That's going to make your day, these two. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Gertie, that was fabulous. And remember everybody, I, I'm writing my email address in the chat box, but please send me a validation story for the newsletter. That would just be so fun with pictures of your son and your brother. And I'm glad you got a reading. Um, so uh, thank you very much, Daisy. I'm gonna remove the spotlight from Gertie. I'm gonna then... show it shouting Charlie at me. So Charlie. Charlie. Anybody know anything about it, Charlie? That's... Right, and I want to go with a bit more to this as well, because I'm seeing a vision. So I want to be out the side, wherever this Charlie or Charlotte, wherever that this means. But let's go with a view that I'm seeing outside of someone's either front or back, because I can never work out with your houses if it's the front or the back of the house but all I know is there is a deck in there that has a banister so you could you can sit out there but if you stood you could put your hands on a banister there 
and then look out to to greenery trees shrubbery or whatever i'm seeing this oh. and it means something Charlene or Char is saying my name is Charlene and my mom is Charlotte and then uh, iPhone is saying Charles question mark so we have two people but what about the banister for both yeah of I've got you? to go with that sort of look to the outside somewhere okay. and I feel sort of slightly darker color here so to me you know if it's got a red undertone or mahogany or uh, you know brown I, I don't feel light here. I don't feel like a white banister or anything like that. But someone's showing me this. And you can definitely sit out there. So we have people talking about Charlie, but can someone talk about the banister? Is a it must be a memory from something. It must be a memory from someone's, either, either they've got like a um, log cabin or, or, or something like that, because it just doesn't feel brick to me okay so char says i have a dark deck with a black railing and she's the one who is charlene and then her uh, mom is charlotte so i don't know let's go with that one shall we uh, sure. whoever this is has got their they've got a grandfather with them as well because they've just brought in a grandfather with them so i don't know if charlene has got it's her dad in spirit or her dad's dad is there's a grandfather just, just coming yeah. with, with the male energy. So my dad is spirit. Oh lovely. I don't mean lovely. You know what I mean? It means confirming. You know what I mean? So you, you know, lost a son? You lost a son? A daughter. Oh, you lost a daughter and you do you want and so she's coming with her dad. She's coming with your dad, her grandfather. Yeah. I, I also have nephew in spirit too oh let's just see where we go do you understand oh. that decking area or and the banister you know you're like railing sorry railing yes it it's on my back deck that looks out into the backyard and i have a memorial uh flower garden for my daughter that's why there. i'm getting the shrubbery and everything i think what's happening here she's coming in with those other two energies because they gave me the male coming in the younger male coming in with the grandfather i think they've all come in together yeah and the grandfather just said look what they've dragged me along to that's what he just said very nice very respectful <laughs> okay so he he's just he said i just sit on the deck yeah, while well, these two do all the talking, he's saying to me, do you know if the name David means anything to you? Or Davis, David, Dave? So um, does your dad's uh, well, I, me. I have um, a cousin named David. No, that's fine, but it connects with you. That's all I always say. And how does the month of July connect with you? That's my birthday month and my dad's birthday oh, month. That, and it's your dad that I'm talking to. There you go. That's just him for me validating that it's him. And he has got dragged along by the other two. Yes? <laughs> right. Did your dad ever have a moustache at one stage? Um, He could have when he was a real young man. Now, okay, not when I there's something to do with this. You know, and, and I, I, I'm going to say to you, yeah. And there seems to be a joke with your daughter saying, well, he tried to grow it. So you need to find out from your mum, yeah, did dad okay. want to try to grow a moustache in some way? And it, it didn't work. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. My my nephew had a moustache. And I think at one... the, 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 there we go. That, and that's the one that's passed as well. So these yeah. two, they're just mixing their energies and being funny. It looks like it's going to be one of those hours today, Elizabeth, where they all want to be funny and, and they're all entwining and joking amongst one another to make their loved ones who, who might be going through a difficult time or sadness or whatever's going on to laugh, you know, to have a laugh for a change. I think there's some joke about your nephew once getting something stuck up his nose, you know. Because he just put like a marble up his nose and then he can't get it out. 
It's probably, I know his dad, my brother did that, his father, when he was oh, a little Oh, his father, boy. what, got something stuck up his nose and he couldn't get it out? Yeah. Because he's doing this and he's doing it like that. And I said, what are you doing? He said, talk about the marble stuck up the nose and you can't get, and I can't get it out. So it's he's talking uh -huh. about his own father, yeah? Mm-hmm, yeah, things, yeah. You know, the things that they bring up and they make sure everybody gets to hear it just to embarrass everybody, you know, in a oh. fun way, I might add. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Who does who does shooting in the family or who, who used to like doing all the, the um you know, like fishing or, or deer hunting or rabbits or anything? Um, my nephew did and his dad, um, my brother, were um, big fishermen, big hunters. Oh, that's um, and even, it's gonna, yeah, I always like them to give me, again, I always say, bring up stuff in a reading that the medium can't know, and that's what they're doing for me. So I'm just asking them questions to bring up. Also, did um, I've got to say Tuesday. I know today is Tuesday, but it's Tuesday. So I don't know if your daughter passed on a Tuesday or, or, or your nephew passed on a Tuesday, but there seems to be a Tuesday connection here. Um, Katie passed Wednesday morning, so Tuesday. Oh, so was... Tuesday was her last full day in this world. That's why she's saying yeah. she's laughing. And she said, "Tell my mum I can't get a word in edgeways because of these two, okay?" But they've come in. Yeah, it looks like the men have really taken over being funny today. <laughs> um, but she um she loves the garden. You've just got something like you've got like a high high what's that called a hydrangea or something? Have you in your garden? Um, I do, I have three of them. I just pruned them yesterday. Oh my gosh, she was with you when you did that. Cause I thought that's a hydrangea because we've got one in the garden. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And ours is just beginning to get the green leaves coming yes. because of the spring. Yes. And she said to tell you about it. So she was in, the, in that garden with you yesterday when you were doing that. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. Plus. Did, did you put, um, I don't want to say manure, but did you put uh, something else down like to help? grow or well, were you putting seeds or something i see you like with seeds or something um i put a bunch of rock down i just i dug up some plants and put some dirt around and then i re-rocked it oh that's um, what i'm seeing okay that's what she's showing me that she was with you yeah oh bless her heart you know uh, you got a lot of noise in your garden from little birds at the moment Mm -hmm. Yeah. Only because she said when you were doing that, you were aware of the sound of the birds tweeting and making noises around you. Yeah. Because yeah. she she said she, she sent you music, and I said what sort of music? And she said with birds. So no. you were aware of of them tweeting away and uh, and that around you. Yeah. Yes. Yep. And she what? went. She went like this to me. She went. <laughs> and no frogs. She went like that. I said to have a little dig with the other ones, you know, that same frogs. It's just the way she did it. Yeah. Oh. Do you have like a um a fake bird out there or something? Some sort of fake bird? Um, I do. I it's not out right now, but it's in the shed. It will be out, yes. What is it? It's a rooster. Oh, it's a rooster. <laughs> And it rocks. Yeah. Fake rooster is fine. A real rooster, yeah, when it's in the garden and it's in a residential area, it's not so fine, believe me, I know. Um, on the hour, every hour, yes. Um, so she talks about the fake bird, but it's not out there at the moment. But there you go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. I put it out every, every spring, so it will be here. You know, your daughter's just done the funniest thing. You know... You know, little girls, when they used to play, they used to put, like, like um, to make wings, they used to put, like, wood with material on it, and then they dance around in it. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. She's just done that, and she's dancing around these two, yeah, <laughs> your nephew, your dad, acting like something from Swan Lake or something and I just thought I don't believe what I'm seeing what's going on today but she's doing that but she just to annoy them she said yeah I could see that yeah, yeah just to annoy them but she so she's dancing in between them but with if you can you just imagine with this like doing this 
with like a boil type of material. You know, I just think, you know, if ever spirit showed that they're having a good time in spirit to just make people realize that whatever the world is like where they are, they still haven't lost their personality, their character. Because I always say, when I do readings, you see how they bring out their personality that no one, unless you knew them personally, can you know their personality? And yet they bring it out in readings, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And so if anyone says you lose your personality when you've passed a spirit, well, clearly you don't, you mm -hmm. know? Yeah. Your nephew said, we've got to go now, and he's doing that. <laughs> See what I mean? So he's going, but he's just had to do that. And you know what that means, don't you? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh. I just said to him, how old are you, 10? <laughs> there you go I'm going to leave that with you and that imaginary stuff in your mind now what your daughter was doing between these two yeah. it's been what, a, what an hour that's all I can say that was amazing Daisy so I much fun so very grateful. funny afternoon this is exactly I, what we needed after Facebook and Instagram going down right to, to oh gosh yes lovely. yeah <laughs> And also, um, I, I just thought, like I say, just how it's uplifted everybody, you know, with whatever's going on, be it miserable weather or missing somebody today or it's someone's birthday or an anniversary or something. It's just like they've come in and just to show, you know, that, that they're OK and they're so, such a big part of our lives, even though we can't physically see them. They are, and you are exactly right. And it's just so wonderful to have you show this and prove it through all of these validations to all of our parents. It's just a wonderful thing. And I know that there will be a lot of other parents who will identify with what you said uh, when they see this video later on as well. So um, please, please, please send me validation stories though if you got a reading today because we love to put them into the newsletter and it's always so nice uh, for Daisy to be able to see, especially um, things that you might not have thought of in the reading that might come up later. Um, and we're, we always ask everyone to say thank you and, and good day. And for Daisy, it's good evening. For us, it's middle of the day, but- um, yeah. Seven o'clock here. Yes. Evening. Great meeting. Thank you. Thank, thank you, Daisy. Thank you. 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 For all of the the work and Irene and um and Daisy especially. Bye everyone. Have a Bye. great day. Bye. Thank, thank you. you.